This video is sponsored by Dashlane. Spend enough time trying to get work done on a big laptop and coach, and two things will happen. You'll develop a wicked case of what I call 737 face, and you'll start wishing for a computer that could just get smaller when you needed it to. Well, Lenovo just built it. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is a sneak peek at the world's first folding screen PC. Folks, when I say sneak peek, I mean it. This prototype is so early that it doesn't even have a name yet. Also, some of what you're seeing here is placeholder stuff. The Windows 10 operating system is not planned for the final product. Parts of the hinge are still in flux. Heck, even the camera wasn't installed yet on the sample I used. But you're not here for the nitty gritty, right? At this point, the question is, how does a folding screen make a laptop better? To answer that, let's start with the Galaxy Fold. Samsung's folding phone had a disastrous rollout thanks to the display problems, but the concept is as compelling as it is simple. It can be small for some jobs and big for others. And Lenovo didn't just scale up the concept, it also gives you more ways to use it. See, the hinge can hold the machine in a rigid form at almost any point between closed and open. That means you can hold it like a book when you're reading, or turn it sideways to use it as a mini laptop. In this mode, the heavier side containing the battery serves as the bottom, so it doesn't wobble around when you're typing on the touchscreen keyboard. Now, if you decide you need more than the 9.7 inch screen in this configuration, you can unfold it completely to convert all that OLED acreage into one 13.3 inch display and switch to the included separate keyboard for typing. If you need to sketch or sign some documents, there's also a pen in the box that works with the display's Wacom digitizer, when you're finished, it hooks onto a loop on the outside cover. And that cover isn't a separate case, but an integrated leather sleeve that gives the machine the feeling of a moleskin when it's closed. I love this touch. Building a bleeding edge mobile computer like this with a display straight out of science fiction and then wrapping it in something as classic as leather anchors it somehow. It evokes that classic icon of on-the-go creation, the notebook, while also serving the practical purpose of protecting what promises to be a pricey little pewter. That price is something some buyers are bound to balk at. Just like their telephone counterparts, the first generation of foldable PCs ain't gonna come cheap. And you've got other concerns to contend with, of course. While this screen is the smoothest I've seen yet, creases and inconsistencies are still par for the course with foldables. Then there's that torque hinge. Lenovo says it's rating it for double the number of opens and closes as its conventional ThinkPads, and it's also pointed out that it hasn't compromised any of its ThinkPad tests in developing this machine. With the looming specter of the Galaxy Fold hovering over the category, it only makes sense that Lenovo will do everything it can to avoid tainting the ThinkPad brand with a similar embarrassing failure, but only using it in the real world will tell whether the company has been successful. Folks, I don't want to stop talking about this thing yet, so let's hit the rest of those details I mentioned before. Two USB-C ports alongside stereo speakers on each side. Intel Silicon running Windows software. The screen is a foldable 2K OLED panel from LG Display with a 4 to 3 aspect ratio. There will be cellular connectivity alongside Wi-Fi, an IR camera for Windows Hello, and a ThinkPad docking station so you can connect it to peripherals. There is no SD slot though, and you'll be able to buy it in any color you want as long as it's black. Stick around through the sponsor spot to hear how you can protect your digital privacy, and then I'll tell you when you might be able to pick one of these up. Folks, your digital identity is important, and Dashlane is a one-stop shop to help you protect it. It works across your smartphone, tablet, and computer to keep you safe by handling all of your passwords for you. But it's more than just password management. Dashlane also uses dark web monitoring to seek out bits of your personal data that may have already leaked, and if it finds any, it alerts you automatically so you can take action right away. I was surprised to find out just how many of my old accounts had been compromised. My favorite feature, though, is the one-button VPN, which protects all my devices when I use public Wi-Fi, from airports to coffee shops. Dashlane has more features, but they're best experienced firsthand, 
take a free 30-day test drive with the link in the description. And if you decide to subscribe, use my promo code to get 10% off a premium subscription. Thanks to Dashlane for sponsoring this video. 2020. It's more than an old Barbara Walters show. It's also next year. And next year is when you'll be able to get your hands on this new foldable computer. As for pricing, Lenovo would only say that this is going to be for the traveling executive, the mobile warrior, whatever that is, and the tech enthusiast. Translation, it's not going to be an $800 machine. So if you want to be on the bleeding edge of foldable PCs, you better start putting those pennies away now. Special thanks to Michael Josh of Gadget Match for lending his cinematography skills to this video. Be sure to check out his own hands-on, which I'll link in the description. Production note, I recorded the VO for this video in a hotel room under a blanket fort, so pardon the audio quality. And as for why I've seemingly been always in hotel rooms recently, subscribe to The Mr. Mobile so you can see all the gadgets I'm flying everywhere to show you. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.